When I heard Ridley Scott was releasing a sci-fi TV series, I couldn't wait to hear more. Thankfully, we finally have a trailer and learned that Raised by Wolves will be premiering September 3rd on HBO Max. Let's dive into the trailer and see what we can find out. Quick reminder, if you're enjoying these videos, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. Before we go frame by frame, here's the official logline of the show. Raised by Wolves centers on two androids tasked with raising human children on a mysterious virgin planet. As the burgeoning colony of humans threatens to be torn apart by religious differences, the androids learn that controlling the beliefs of humans is a treacherous and difficult task. Now, let's dive into the trailer. The opening shot sees a child in a desert landscape with what appears to be a flying saucer-esque craft over Head. The child looks up in awe, as though this is not a usual occurrence. Also, this seems to be not Earth, but the virgin planet referenced in the premise. Later in the trailer, we'll see a small pod exiting a larger craft, bringing someone to the planet. So I'm guessing this is that larger craft. If it contains the androids which raise the children, perhaps the children, or some of the children, arrived on the planet prior to the androids. We then hear voiceover, seemingly from Amanda Collins' character, one of the androids tasked with raising the children. She is credited as Mother. She says, Gather around, children. The Earth was destroyed by a great war. I was programmed to protect you. And now, we start again. The choice of words here is interesting. What does she mean by, now we start again? What is starting again? My speculation is that she is referring to human colonization. Although it is not stated in the premise, I'm thinking these children are the last remnants of humanity, and they were sent to this planet to start their species anew. Under Mother's voiceover, we have an overhead shot of the new planet. Everything we see of it in the trailer shows a desert-like environment. Here, we see what appears to be some basic structures. Since this structure seems largest, I'm guessing it is where the children live. Then there's this red igloo-like structure, this small black one, and these two stone structures. We also see several spiral patterns made up of vegetation. We'll get closer looks at most of these during the trailer. So what's with the spirals? There could be something odd about the planet that would cause the vegetation to naturally form into spirals. Or could there be natives on this planet? Did someone else grow the spirals and build some of these structures prior to the human's arrival. We then see Mother speaking to the children. Her expression definitely gives off an uncanny valley vibe as she attempts to mimic human emotion. This makes me wonder how effectively the children themselves will be able to convey emotion. The term raised by wolves brings to mind the idea of a human growing up as something else. How will these children evolve as they are raised by a machine that is seemingly doing a poor job at approximating human emotion? Also, take note of this symbol as it appears throughout the trailer. We're given a glimpse of a ruined earth, showing us the destruction caused by the Great War Mother mentioned. Several triangle-shaped crafts fly in the background as one flies close by. Things seem pretty thoroughly destroyed, though many figures can be seen running on the ground. Cut to a craft approaching a planet, which appears to have at least three moons. It crash lands and a figure walks out of it. From the silhouette and the fact that it is shown while Mother describes her purpose, I think we're seeing her arrival on the planet. As the craft opens, we can see a child standing alone, perhaps the child from the beginning of the trailer. This further implies that at least some of the children were here first. Maybe they were fending for themselves until the androids arrived to lead them. This would likely be a great relief to the children, but as the rest of the trailer reveals, there will be questions over who should be trusted, or put another way, who are the wolves that the children should be weary of. When the figure walks out of the craft, it seems some time has passed since the child stood alone. Now there are several figures standing there stiffly. The way they stand together as though waiting for commands tells me they may also be androids. Based on other, less human-looking androids we see in the trailer, my guess is that the two charged with raising the children, credited as mother and father, were made to look more human to help in that job. 
However, there are other androids charged with less complicated tasks who do not require a human appearance. This appears to be a shot of Mother being created. I'm thinking this is a flashback to Earth. As Mother says the line, I was programmed to protect you, and now we start again, we see a shot of a baby being pulled out of a small container, next to two other containers. My thought is that we're seeing a way for the androids to artificially create humans. Perhaps the androids believe that humanity has been completely wiped out. So when Mother says, now we start again, she is literally referring to the human race. She is creating the first new humans since the rest of the population was destroyed. Mother asks the children, does anyone know the story of the three little pigs? We then see her covered in white substance while sniffing animalistically, as though looking for someone or something. Later, we'll see evidence that this white substance is the android equivalent of blood, similar to the synthetics in Ridley Scott's Alien. Maybe she was just in a fight with other androids. Then, the trailer reminds us of Ridley Scott's pedigree. Now, I'm always skeptical when a show attaches a big director's name to it. What does from Ridley Scott actually mean? Well, it sounds like he is a producer, which doesn't tell us much about the level of creative input he provided. The show is actually being run by Aaron Guzowski, writer of the movie Prisoners. However, Ridley Scott did direct the first two episodes, so I'm guessing he did a lot to set the overall tone and direction of the series. This gives me confidence that Scott isn't just throwing his name on the project, but is actually pretty involved. Then we see something pretty exciting. Bones. Big bones, as though dinosaur-like creatures reside on this planet. It's unclear if these are remnants of a dead species or monsters we may actually get to see. Then we get an up-close shot of that red igloo-like structure with some children playing around and on it. Mother continues telling the story of the three little pigs. The first little pig built a house out of straw. The second little pig built a house out of sticks. And the third little pig, he built a house out of stone. As she speaks, we see Mother working with one of the children, perhaps literally building a house. We see a shot of landscape with a few points where dust seems to be rising. Later, we see a creature moving in a very menacing and animalistic fashion. Pure speculation on my part, but maybe the rising dust is what you see before those creatures burst out from underground. There's another shot of Mother with a child. This time, the child is sleeping and Mother seems to be comforting her. Though, Mother's face looks totally emotionless. Maybe when no humans are watching, the androids don't bother with unnecessary things like smiling. We see some arts and crafts, then there's Mother chopping wood, and immediately after, a couple of people dressed all in white, building a structure out of sticks. Later, we see evidence that those dressed in white are part of another faction that oppose Mother. We see a man working on a structure. He is also dressed similar to Mother, so presumably he is the other android credited as Father. We also see him sharpening a long stick as though to be used as a weapon. Mother moves one of the monster skulls, though it's unclear why. Then she seems to notice something, immediately before a door from one of these structures opens. I'll pause here to say that it's interesting that most of the words in this trailer are dedicated to Mother's telling of the Three Little Pigs. All of this is also paired with visuals of people building structures, and interestingly, we do see several distinct styles. The premise of the show mentions that the burgeoning colony of humans threatens to be torn apart by religious differences. I wonder if the religion taught by the androids uses buildings and structures as sort of religious symbols. It would explain the emphasis in this trailer, and later we get a glimpse of people kneeling in front of one of the stone structures. Mother continues the story. One day, a big bad wolf comes along and says, Little pig, little pig, let me in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. As she says this, we see a green pod exit a ship. My interpretation of this is that there is a larger ship which parks above the planet. Then androids or people get sent to the surface individually in these pods. Then we see Travis Fimmel's character, Marcus, walking, potentially from that pod. Since this is shown under Mother's description of the big bad wolf, it seems he will be the wolf Mother warns the children about. Cut to a man dressed in white, bearing the same symbol as the children on his chest. He knocks Mother into a fire. 
Since both Marcus and this man are dressed in white, I'm guessing they are on the same side, opposing the androids. Also, the fact that this man shares a symbol with the children makes me wonder what connection Marcus and his men have with them. Could Marcus and company be survivors from Earth that mother didn't know about? Maybe they're here to reclaim these human children from the androids. Perhaps some humans believe it is better for this new beginning to be led by androids, and others, including Marcus, disagree. This could be part of the religious differences tearing humanity apart. Some oppose androids, and perhaps some deify them. By the way, when Mother says, little pig, little pig, let me in, we get more of the uncanny valley. She looks a little creepy here, and no wonder this kid is crying. Gil here, just a quick reminder if you're enjoying this video, to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. Back to the show. There is a glimpse of one of the children brandishing what looks like a metallic weapon defensively. Someone threateningly drags a stick across the dinosaur or monster bones. An armed man, perhaps one of Marcus's, opens up the red structure to find one of the children. I'm guessing he's there to quote unquote rescue her from the androids. If there truly is a conflict between who gets to raise the children, humans or androids, it'll be interesting to see who the different kids choose. I have a feeling it'll be fairly devastating as some of them end up as collateral damage in this conflict. Some children may also be forced to betray others as sides are chosen. There's a brief shot of someone landing Standing on the floor next to who I think is mother lying down as though recovering in the midst of battle. Then another angle of the crying girl where we can now see a few of the other children looking at each other uncomfortably. Are they starting to question mother's intentions? We also get a glimpse at some of the wall drawings which we see more of in the remainder of the trailer. We see Marcus grab one of the children. She doesn't seem too happy about it. Then someone shines a flashlight on more of these drawings. It's hard to make much sense of them, but I see a couple of hands, a humanoid figure, connected dots, perhaps a map. This also looks like a giant squid, but there appear to be two humanoid figures in the front. Is this a craft of some kind? Is that mother and father? Also, this thing. The interesting question for me is, who left these drawings? Although the premise calls this a virgin planet, could that be misdirection? Are there natives on this planet? or perhaps people that once occupied the planet but have now left or are extinct. Back in the red igloo, we again see a child. However, this time, instead of one of Marcus's men showing up, some kind of creature does. When she notices this, the child quickly runs out of the igloo and it jumps after her. But before it can get her, this shows up. I suspect this is actually a skinless mother. A few shots later, we see Mother take damage, and the layer beneath her skin looks similarly bronze. Also, her eyes look similar, large black pupils with light blue irises. Maybe that's what her eyes do when she enters attack mode. As the bronze Mother arrives, her mouth is wide open, then suddenly closes. Cut to Mother at the part of the story where the wolf blows the house down. So she demonstrates this by taking a deep breath and blowing. Cut back to the monster exploding into red dust before it can overtake the child. Based on what we see later in the trailer, I suspect the androids use their mouths as weapons, emitting a destructive force that can explode people. We see a young girl comforted by who I assume is mother, then a glimpse of what I believe is more of the war on Earth. However, it looks like this is a little earlier than the previous shot, as things are not quite as destroyed yet. We see a couple of the familiar triangle-shaped crafts, but interestingly, we can also see a couple of floating figures that resemble the Bronze Mother. They are also floating in a similar pose. Were androids involved in the war? If they were on one side of that war, it would certainly explain why some humans have animosity towards them. Then we see Mother covered in blood. From her eyes and open mouth, we can tell she's in attack mode. As she walks forward, she is fired upon and we see the bronze skin revealed beneath. Also, if we go frame by frame, we can see a sort of ripple effect escape from her mouth. This seems to be a destructive force that androids can release by essentially screaming, perhaps weaponized sound waves of some kind. Then another glimpse of Earth War and the shot we mentioned earlier of people kneeling before the stone structure. It's hard to tell from a distance, but I believe this is Marcus, 
which would make sense as he appears to be the leader here. We see a woman smiling and holding a baby, perhaps after it was taken from one of the baby boxes. Her hair is different, but I'm thinking this is Mother, perhaps in a flashback. If the children were born to Mother out of these boxes, this shot earlier is confusing. Why are any of the children older than infant age when she lands? Maybe some arrived before her and were raised for at least some of their lives by humans. Perhaps the androids will even play favorites with children they created themselves in the baby boxes versus the ones who already existed naturally. Then we see Mother in attack mode again. She is walking through a hallway while exploding people. On the wall, we see the star-like symbol that the children wear. We also see it on this person's chest. The hallway looks more advanced than anything we see on the desert planet, so I wonder if this takes place elsewhere, maybe another flashback to Earth. Did the androids kidnap these children from this organization, after which Marcus and his followers came looking for them? And if we go frame by frame, we again see the ripple explosion effect in action. Then we see one of the creepy android medics I mentioned earlier. It is chained up and moving erratically. Perhaps it was chained up because it is malfunctioning. Then mother, blindfolded and covered in android blood, kneels before a child. Why is she blindfolded? My guess is that she is covering her attack mode eyes. Is this just because the eyes would be unsettling to the child? Or is it necessary because even just seeing the eyes is dangerous? Also worth noting that this scene takes place in a very different environment from the rest of the trailer. We mostly see desert and here we see snow. Also not sure what's happening with these hands here or what kind of animal this is. Then we see a stadium. From the background, it appears to be located on the destroyed Earth. We see the familiar symbol on a couple of flags and many crafts floating. The vibe I get from this is the world is ending. Let's send some of our last remaining humans off planet on these crafts for some hope that the species can survive elsewhere. My theory is that these ships contain those baby boxes and some androids so humans can begin again elsewhere. Perhaps this symbol does not represent an organization, but actually is a symbol for all of the last remaining humans. It looks like a star to me, maybe signifying rebirth. We see Mother lying on the ground in a pool of android blood and a man about to cut her head off. At a glance, this looks like Marcus to me. Then, strangely, there is a glimpse of Marcus is kissing someone who I think is Mother with dried android blood on her face. We see Mother wake up in a very creepy room. A dead monster that resembles the one which jumped off the red igloo hangs above her. We also see what looks like dismembered androids hanging in various parts of the room. One of the structures burns with Marcus happily soaking it in. In voiceover, we hear him say, presumably to one or some of the children, that big bad wolf she was talking about, that's her. So I think it's safe to assume there won't be clear-cut good guys and bad guys. We'll question Mother's motives throughout the series and wonder if the children will be better off going with Marcus. We'll find ourselves wondering who the wolves really are, the androids or the humans. Beneath this voiceover, we see an android wake up. Looks to me like either an earlier model android or a badly damaged one whose biological components were all stripped away. A ship crashes. Then we see Mother continuing her work, exploding people in the hallway. Eyes are in attack mode, and the ripple effect from her mouth continues. I should also note, if you listen closely, you can hear repeated screams in the score. likely referencing the screaming attack from these androids. In a strangely lit, dim room, we see Mother's figure and I think the back of a child's head. The child, sounding distressed, asks, Mother? Finally, we see Mother literally howling like a wolf. There is a howl-like sound here, but I suspect that may be part of the score just timed with this scene. And that's where the trailer wraps up. It was a short trailer, but it felt like they gave us many quick glimpses while still holding a lot back. For example, we saw a lot of Mother, but very little of Father, the other android. And besides the brief plot description, we don't have much more than speculation or guesses 
on what this will all be about. In any case, I love everything I'm seeing here and am so glad I'll be able to satisfy my sci-fi craving in less than a month. Anyway, with that, let me know if you're as excited for this show as I am. What theories and speculations do you have? What do you think I got right? What do you think I got wrong? Let me know in the comments and we'll keep the conversation going. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with our coverage of Raised by Wolves. We'll be doing breakdowns of each episode as they premiere on HBO Max. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next One Take.